Mr. Fagana, there's someone here to see you. Huh? Me? What's this person look like? He's wearing really funny clothes. He's talking to Rain right now. Hmm, is he at the pub? Yup, that's why I came over to get you, Uncle Lagana. Am I a good girl? No, you're not. It's dangerous to be out there by yourself. What if a monster comes and attacks you? It's only next door. It's okay. It's still dangerous. And since you're such a cute little girl, the monsters will be especially after you. They'll catch you, and then they'll suck out all your blood. If anything like that should happen, Uncle Laguna's gonna cry. I'll be okay. I'll just call you Uncle Laguna. You'll come rescue me, right? Hey, alone. W w wait. So, as you can see, we've entered, um, a dream world, because that's obviously what happens when you die, right? Because we died. We... Poor Squall got stabbed in the, in the heart by the giant ice block from the sorceress, and we're dead, and... It's, it's so sad, so sad. It's, we just, we just got to know the guy, I, 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 but it's, but it's okay, because we still got Lagana, and, uh, screw Squall, he was annoying anyways, we'll live on with just this guy. Um, I don't remember if there's monsters here or not, but best bet is to, uh, give yourself and counter none, just in case, so I'm gonna go do that right now. So yeah, here we are, playing as Lagana again. Of course, this time we don't seem to be in a war, and, well, that's kind of nice and all, but really, what's going on? You can uh, rest here if you want, you know, just get your health back from all the fighting you're about to do. I think if you open this, yeah, you can find a draw point, which is pretty nice because it's got Kiraga. That's pretty awesome. Unfortunately, you're not going to get tons. But, um... I know Laguna's things can be a bit confusing, because you're like, what is going on? But really, in the end, it all ends up coming together and making sense. And this is... This one really confused me, actually, at first. I was just like, what is going on? But thinking back, I'm like, wow, this actually really helped tie it together. So this is this is Laguna during some downtime. Clearly, so far, what we know about him is he's been in a war. He found um, a singer who he was just infatuated with, who he helped to learn to sing, um, well, not really learn to sing, but got her confidence up to get her to be like, look, I can do more than just play piano, I can also sing. He's attacked Ethsar, he, like, the big country where the old sorceress used to be, like, right now we got Adia, who's the sorceress, who just took over the Galbadian continent and the biggest military, but before that was Sorceress Adele. Abel? One of the two. I, I can't remember. But she ran Ethsar, which is a country that's closed itself off since then from the rest of the world. And no one really knows what's going on there other than it used to be like super high tech and super evil. And well, him and Ward and Kiros, they snuck in there and attacked them, which is what we were doing the last time in that crazy diamond mine thing that we jumped off the cliff. But now Lagana looks like he's got some downtime wherever he is. And he's got a little girl he's looking after, and, uh... Apparently on behalf of her parents, and, uh, he's here with someone named Rain. Who we don't really know anything about yet, other than, well... Lagana was here, and, uh, she was mentioned. So, this one can be kind of boring, because you gotta do a lot of running around. However, I, 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 I actually find this one really interesting now. Aw, she got in trouble. Ah, 
But I'm wondering what promise she broke. <laughs> Lagana, use proper English when speaking to alone. Yeah, I know a lot of people who, uh... Say that, like this whole talking to kids thing seems to be a big thing. It used to be when you talk to kids, you're all like, Oh, look at that! You don't... Like, you'd use that baby voice. Now it seems like people are trying not to do that because you don't want to kid them, and apparently that's what causes them to end up talking like that. And yes, he does dress funny. He kind of does look like a bad guy. Like, he would be the Vega. You know, that really quick evil villain. Ah, you seem well. Yeah, you too. Aw, oh, bonding time. Hey, how long's it been? You know, our grand escape from Sentra. Uh, that's what they're called, the Central Ruins. That's what I was talking about when they were attacking Ethsar. Or scouting out the area around Ethsar, or whatever it was. Ah, that was... One would usually call that being chased out. I thought so. Well, I would say about a year or so. I was bedridden for over six months. It seemed like every bone in my body was in pieces. I nursed him back to health. Ah, thank you for taking good care of Laguna. I was able to recover in about a month or so. Ever since then, I've been searching for you. Why? After leaving the army, well, just killing time, I guess. Life's pretty boring without you as entertainment, my man. Oh, that's a harsh thing to say. I've been living a productive life here. I think I understand what you mean, though. So, what do you want to know? I like how both of them just insulted him, telling him that uh, he's kind of boring. Julia, that was the girl with the piano and the stuff and the things. But, uh, yeah, what, what, tell me about Julia. Because uh, I haven't seen her, and I had a huge crush on her. I don't know. You mean Julia the singer? Well, that's right. Lagana really admired her and always frequented the nightclub. Shut up. So what if I did? Julia used to sing in a nightclub? Nah, she didn't sing. She just played the piano. Then the first song she released was Eyes on Me. Uh, how, how does that song go? You don't know? Well, you never let me hear it. I didn't think you listened to music. The song's about being in love. I really like it. Heard she recently got married. Oh yeah. To some army general, right? General Carway or something. BAM! Right there! See, like I said, crazy side stuff. So, um, General Carway, who's actually Renoa's dad, got married to Julia, who used to hit on, who used to have a crush on Laguna. We're all connected, ain't that crazy? Look, see, already Laguna's starting to tie into the story. Well, I'm not too sure. I read in a magazine that her true love went off to war and never came back. General Caraway comforted her while she was feeling down. That's how they got to know each other. So, she didn't wait for the soldier to come back. Dude, it's only been a year. Seriously? She ran off with less than a year? So what? Who cares? As long as she's happy, right? That's all that matters. And at the same time, I guess Lagana could have gone to her. He doesn't really have to stay in this town. But... He does really like Alone. Ain't that right, Al? Yeah, it is right. He does like Ellen. Ellen? Is that... I always say Alone because there's the E at the end. Is their name just supposed to be like Ellen? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, enough talk about this. So, what do you want to know? Uh, tell me how Ward's doing. How's that fat bastard keeping up? Ward quit the army, too. Luckily, he found a job, and he's working pretty hard. Oh, what's he doing? He's a janitor down at the D-District prison. Wow. Can't picture him mopping floors, but I'm glad he's doing well. Oh, and he never got his voice back. You can basically tell what he wants from his facial expressions. So, what do you want to know? Ah, let's talk later. 
If you say, what are we doing now, they just make a mention about the fairies being back, which is basically their way of saying, hey, look, it seems like we got superpowers all of a sudden, we don't understand why, because it's, you know, tongue-in-cheek kind of joke on how suddenly they have Squall and Ko's powers. So, what's your plan? You gonna stick around here for a bit, right? Will that be okay? You work for what you eat. If that's fine with you, you're more than welcome. Work. Yeah, right. <laughs> they don't actually do much for work. I uh, can't talk to her and... Come back soon, okay? And I apparently plugged in one of my broken controllers, so my... Left analog stick currently isn't working, which sucks, because that's how you move and stuff. Now you can go around and talk to people, there's not really much to do here. But, uh, you, you can get some side story. Like here, you see, Ethsar was run by the sorcerers, right? And you never know anything about them. But after, like I said, the sorcerers went away from Ethsar, they kind of locked themselves up and no one really did anything. They kind of... No one's really seen them since. And, uh, no one really knows why. Of course, I think at this point, like, where Laguna is right now, Ethsar is still... Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I was like, I'll hit O and run! But we are running. Um, I think this point where Ethsar is right now, they're, uh, they're still in control. Oh no, see this is, uh, okay, it is Adele. Yeah, Sorceress Adele. Um, but what they do is, uh, they don't really explain this very hard, but Adele would, um, kidnap... I guess I should slightly equip Kiros. Just give me a second. Okay. Um but with with it with it, what they would do was kidnap little girls because they would tr want to try and find a successor for Adele. As in, like, because the sorceress would just pass her powers from one person with the sorceress ability to the next. So not only would they have to already be kind of magical themselves, they'd have to be able to control whatever it was that the sorceress had. So if Adele was ever to die, then those powers, and basically the sorceress would just live on in the next girl. Kind of like uh, the Buddha reincarnation thing, where they always find... Whoever's currently in charge of... Oh, what religion? Wow. Um, whoever is currently Buddha is always alive in the world. They just have to find who it is. So it's kind of the same thing. They would kidnap little girls to try and find out who would be capable of succeeding Adele. Or if Adele was gone, who would have her powers where, where they'd gone to. Because when the sorceress dies, another thing that happens is... Uh, the powers from the sorceress are transposed into the closest sorceress to her. So if the little girl had the power of holding those powers, you'd want to keep her around the sorceress at all times. So in case anything ever happened to the sorceress, they were attacked, sorceress killed, you already know who's going to have the powers next. So what exactly do you do here? It's like this. All the working men in this town are sent off to war. The only ones still left in town are the old people, children, chocobos, dogs and cats, and the few soldiers that he doesn't mention. And I'm sure you've noticed, but the monsters have way made their way into town. This here town took real good care of me, so basically I want to return the kindness. You're looking at the Monster Hunter of Windhill. So as of today, you'll be my assistant. We're to patrol the town and to take up town... We're to patrol the town up to the town entrance. If we see anyone in need along the way, we help them. That's our basic duty. So as you can see, Lagana's definitely still the same goof-off that he always been, but he's, he's got a big heart. He wants to help people. Now, you can go in, you can talk to people, you get more side story. Basically, Lagana washed up here. He's just kind of hanging out. Um, not really much else from that. Um, he hasn't really left, because he's basically fallen in love with Alone. And, uh... Caution, Chocobo Crossing. But... 
Yeah, he has fallen in love with Alone. He adores that girl, and so therefore he's going to hang out with Rain, and the two of them are basically raising her together. That's pretty much all that's going on. Um, they're worried about Ethsar attacking the town, so Laguna wants to try and protect it, because he feels bad for the people here. Alright, first patrol complete. Okay. For some reason, I thought that there would be a battle when you came all the way down, but I guess not. You just basically fight your cat or chippelers and bite bugs here, so really nothing to, uh, worry about. Hence why, uh, you wanna just skip the battles. They're, they're not worth it. A hot shot? Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely you. Big mouth. So on and so forth. Okay, let's step up our patrol a notch. Assistant Kiros, let's come with, with a plan after we get back to the base. Yeah, so, like I was gonna say, you can check out these buildings, you can go in talk to people, but... You don't really learn much else other than what I've told you, and uh, most of these buildings tend to be empty right now, because as I said, most of the men aren't here, and it's just... There's really just a few people left. You can't leave town because, well... Lagana, for one, wouldn't let you, because, you know, he's not going to go too far away from the people here, and... Yeah. Oh, maybe... Maybe you can't talk to the people in this town. I know you can actually visit this town later when you get the ability to get through the world map and stuff, but... I don't remember there being much here. Huh? What? Huh? I always take this way back from my first patrol. Did the fairies do this? Maybe. Yeah, see, once again, a little, just something like that, a little joke on the fairies, uh, because you want to go to the right, and he's like, wait, I don't go that way, because, you know, we were controlling him. Ha ha ha, funny, funny, funny. Hey, Laguna, are you doing this patrol thing every day? Every day? Thing? What are you calling a thing? Weren't you aiming to become a world-traveling journalist? You heard of the Timber Maniacs, right? I had a talk with the chief editor. He said he's really interested in any article related to world travel. Oh, that's great! We should go talk to him sometime. Y yeah Aw, poor Lagana doesn't want to leave the town. I, I think it's kind of sweet that he's settled down. It's... Like I said, this is definitely something different, but hey, what do you think? Um... It'd be okay if we stayed here a bit longer, right? You need time to gather more material? This seems like a really nice town. You're gonna write about this place first, aren't you? No way! Can't make this place famous. Too much publicity and you get all those tourists and stuff. You're afraid someone might come and take Ryan away. Laguna, you've changed, man. Hey! I see a monster! Ooh, what is up with that? Okay, so you do end up fighting a monster here. I knew it. Or maybe not. Okay, so um, yeah, I could, I, I could have sworn you did. You can't go in there. Okay, fine. Fine, there's no one else in the town, and you don't fight a single monster. I was wrong, but I can admit it. Uh, they should be upstairs, I guess. What? Girl talk, let's come back later. Come on. Something inside of me tells me to listen. Rain, ain't you gonna marry Uncle Agana? A guy like that? He was carried in here crying like a baby, and I was the one who had to take care of him. His crude way of speaking, I don't know if his aspirations of a journalist are real, every time I try to have a serious conversation, he, he avoids it, I can't stand his snoring, and he talks in his sleep. But he is really nice. I really, really like him. Ray and Uncle Gar and Elle should all be together.
but you know... I think what he really wants to do is travel all over the world. I don't think he has it in him to live in a quiet country town like this one. Some people aren't like that. Oh, it makes me so mad. You don't like him? I feel the same way as you, alone. Oh. <sighs> Long run. Yeah, you were back. <sighs> I came back in a hurry. Report to the commander. Okay, don't let me get caught on the couch. Here's my report on today's patrol and monster extermination. We killed nothing. Um, I mean, uh, including Buchu Buchus and Bun Buns that Assistant Commander alone hates so much. I've exterminated zero monsters. Oh wow, it actually does keep track. Nice. Alright, thank you. Yes, for all that zero eating that you did. Eating. Zero killing that you did. Shall we eat before you get started with the next patrol? I'll call you when it's ready, so just wait in your room. You seem pretty tired, you should take a quick nap. Okie dokie, I will do that. I will go sleep. Um, cause walking to the front of town and back again is- Oh man, that is just exhausting. You have no idea. Oh man, have you seen how big this town is? It's like a freaking city block, man. That's and walking there and back, that's like walking the distance of two city blocks. Cuz you're doing it twice. You're walking one block twice. Damn, it hasn't respawned. Okay, well, whatever. I guess it's just nap time. Let's rest up. Well now, shall we rest up a bit? Hmm, what's the matter? I get scared sometimes. Scared of waking up somewhere else. Scared of not seeing alone. Scared of not seeing Ryan. What happened to me? I feel... What is this I'm feeling? Oh, please let it be this room when I wake up. Oh, poor Lagana's in love. Ain't that so cute? Please let me be in this puny bed when I wake up. Hey, wait, where's... where's... Kuro's gonna sleep. Is he gonna be stuck on the floor? Maybe on that baby piano? Maybe he'll sleep in the chair. This is... Hey, this ain't very fair. That looks like a little girl's bed. Laguna, you've changed. And with that, Laguna's scenario ends. I'll see you guys next time.